Hi friend, welcome to plus 2 net. Download the source code from the URL given at the description and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When testing your query, visit this URL uh, to take a fresh dump as this dump script is generated dynamically and considering the present date and time, old dump may not give you proper result. We use my tutorial as our database. Here we have installed. So let us start select select uh, star. All the columns will import from your dt table tm. This is our table name where tm is our column name where less uh, sorry we will use greater than equal to date sub is our function now interval is 24 hours we are using you can change it to any value so this is our question number one let's run it we got three records so these are the all the records of last 24 hours but it includes the future day future uh, records also so to change it let us slightly modify this we will not use uh, greater than we will use uh, tm between between this value and now now this will be the second answer okay we will run this because we don't have the future uh, records so we are getting the same output now this is how we can exclude the future records also now we will include we will use this we will include a hour minute instead of last 24 hours we will use 12 hours and 30 minutes so here we will use a string 12 30 here we will see hour underscore now this is our answer number 3 let us run this we are getting the same output because the data matches that this is how we can uh, get details with a, a previous any hour and minute combination let us find out the records where hour between 13 and 14 hours so let us copy this record this is our answer number four where hour between 13 and 14 so this is thing let us run this yes we can see all the records both 13 and 14 are included and all the records between 13 and hours and 14 hours are listed now let us try this query again further restricted by giving a date a particular date and the hour it is between 13 and 14 where um, date tm is our time where date tm is equal to let us say fix a date of uh, we are fixing <coughs> date as 09 let us say 9 and 27 is the date month is 9 month 27 and hour between 13 and 14 this will be our ans answer number 5 let us run this yeah you can see only one record is uh, filtered now now this this way we can get the uh, all the records of in between a particular time of any day now let us try that we will see a record by giving both hour minute and second combination where tm instead of hour we will use time between now time is our let us say 11 this is the format we will be using 22 between 11 45 and 22 now we will to say time and time 14 
14 let us say 11 say 14 fine this is our question number 6 14 11 to 14 okay during this period what are the records <coughs> you can see we have records of from 11 o'clock till the 14 o'clock 14 and it is displayed here okay now this also will include a particular date now let us copy this our seventh question where here we will see date tm let us is equal to 2020 year dash 09 is the month and let us say 27 again 27 and now you can now let us break this you can easily understand yes select uh, where date is equal to this and time is this is our answer number 7 yes we got it one record matching to all this condition you can see date is 27 and uh, 13 is the time let us find out number of records of each hour in all the dates so we will write select uh, first uh, we will see the hour hour pm uh, comma then count record count our records from table name is our dt table tm table group by we are grouping it under uh, hour now this will give us the all the records for through all the days available so let us see Yes, you can see the hour wise and how many records are there. So, every year the hour 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all the hours and how many record in each hour. Now, let us further improve it by adding a particular uh, date to it. So, this is our question number eight, answer to the 8. Now, let us copy this, use this. This will be our answer number 9 table here we will add the where clause where uh, you are giving date date to time column uh, date column is equal to 2020 09 30 this is a particular date we have given so let us run this let's see yeah we don't have a date Sorry, we missed here. <coughs> we are given one extra this thing. Let us run this. Yeah, we got it. Uh, Ten hour, one record. Fifteen hour, two record. Let us find out number of records during the lunch hour or from thirteen to fourteen hours on each day. So let us copy this code, paste it here. Uh, now we are getting it is on date wise so we will use date count from table m group by sorry we will use a where condition here where where our uh, hour will take our between between 13 and 14 now here we'll use group by but here we have to use date this is our question number 10 select uh, count front row where uh, our tm between 13 and 14 hours and group by so each date we require let's run this yes we, we are getting this is the uh, date wise and the number of records it is between 13 and 
14. So this is our record number, yeah, answer number 10. Now we'll, what you will do, we'll search for a particular day. Now let us copy this, paste it here. This is uh, answer number 11. Now here instead we are uh, counting the only records, how many records are there in a particular day. So let us not display the date here date table where now date m is equal to we are uh, again going for uh, 2020-09 September month and 30th death and let us go it to the next line okay and our tm between 13 14 group by no is not group by is not required between 13 and 14 hours so let us uh, run this and see there are zero records in this let us find out the uh, last login or the highest login against each day so we'll go to we'll copy this code here this is our solution number 12 so let us start each date wise so we will use date select date now instead of count we'll use max max is the maximum uh, value against the column tm where we are storing our date and time from uh, dt table tm is our uh, table name group by now we'll give here date because we are listing it under on each day so uh, maximum tm from dt table group by tm let us run this code and see this gives us every day what is the last login or last entry in the based on the time so 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, you will find one entry for each day and this is the last or highest uh, time available under that uh, date. Now similarly, if you want the minimum um, time means the first entry of that particular day, we will just change this to, this is our question number uh, 13. Now this will change it to min. Now we will get from this value let us run this this is the first entry of a particular date of all the days we are listed so 18 the first entry 11 26 32 and 19 is 12 57 so like that all the days are listed here with the first entry in the date and time column 